A lot of these kids are being pelted with all different challenges and people trying to belittle them or question who they are as people. Our kids only see what is right around them and what is right around them is often not very uplifting. I'm kind of given this opportunity to help kids who have a choice to make in life. Do they check out and unplug like I did or do they push themselves to become the best version of themselves? When I was growing up, I didn't have like a, a role model who intervened and wasn't like stern and wasn't like, hey, kid, wake up. You got to clean up your act. You need somebody to hold you accountable because when you're 16, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult. I think that success in any way, shape or form in life is a product of opportunity. And in our economy, income has a lot to do with opportunity. My parents, they were busy working in order to just kind of like make ends meet. So a lot of the, the supervision wasn't there just because they had to work so much, which kind of like led me to do whatever I want because nobody was watching me and nobody knew whether I was going to school or not. I left El Salvador with my husband because at that time in the 80s, you know, the civil war started and we were in danger. We came from a different society. In order to make a living, we had to get jobs. In order to get jobs, we have to leave the kids alone. Most of the time, his, his mom was working. Me, I was working. We dedicate all our time, our love to him. And it was really a hassle. And we don't have nobody else in this country. Nobody who can help us to educate him, to guide him. A lot of the, the negative influences around like skateboarding and just kind of like accelerated that. Downward spiral into all that, you know, like negative juvenile behavior. Like ditching class, doing graffiti, hanging out with like bad kids doing drugs. So in 10th grade, like I just decided to drop out from the school. I got a job to work in the graveyard shift in you know, a grocery store. The place ends up getting robbed at gunpoint. And at that moment, like I started to, to question everything that I was doing up until that point. There has to be something bigger. There has to be something more uh, fulfilling. So I, I went to school. I graduated from college. That's what started you know, my trajectory to kind of like reintegrate myself into society. The way I found Stoked, it was a way for me to get back into something that was more fulfilling than what I was currently doing, because I was just feeling empty in a way. All right, so everybody has a board, right? You're one of the classic ones, yeah? Ah, you like it, huh? Stoked is a mentoring organization built on the principles of action sports. We take kids that are at risk or have less opportunity and put them in situations that will inform who they are as a person and empower them to succeed. Skateboarding teaches you perseverance, determination, relentlessness. It really makes you push against your own self because you know that it's gonna lead to accomplishment and success. And with anything in life, you know, you're gonna fail. You're gonna come to roadblocks. You're gonna face and meet challenges, but it's like that determination to, to just keep going. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You know what the word fail oh, stands for? Um, what, what is that? It stands for first attempt in learning. Fail. So whenever you fail, it's not that you're a failure, that's different. It just means that you're trying something that you didn't try before, and it's just one step to actually getting good at that. Their stories vary, but you know, you're talking about like people who come from broken homes, don't have anything to eat. I guess the one overarching theme is that, you know, they're coming from, you know, deficient backgrounds. Most of our kids are coming from single parent families. We have kids who are homeless. We have kids who are living out of their van with their families of five. Kids who have lost their parents due to gang violence. We have students who are involved in gangs, which is why they are here. Stoke teach me how to be like confident and like not be scared to fall down. They teach me how to like communicate with other people. I get to um express my feelings, I guess. When I get on there, I feel like I'm free and I can do like anything I want. I definitely see myself in the kids that I work with. They just want a sense of belonging. Looking back at my life, it's like I was missing a community when I was growing up and going through a lot of the stuff that I was going through. It's crazy to see what happens when kids put two and two together, that I'm not just here for fun. This is actually empowering my life. You don't have to be a saint, you don't have to be perfect in order to help other people. At the end of the day, it's just like when you're gone, like what's your legacy on another person? So I think at a minimum, 
that everybody should be striving to like at least help just one person or change somebody's life because it only takes one. So I'm not trying to change 300 people's lives or everybody who I come into contact with. But if it's just one, then I know that when I die, that I left some sort of like positive impact on on others. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.